down thy boat! Hi everyone and welcome to the Canadian Redneck Channel. My name's Dave and today we have our uh, 414 rear end here that we've been working at. A common issue with these tractors is in the PTO is that the uh, PTO driving shaft and the locking collar will wear and they wear to taper so that when they get under load they just slip out of gear and you can't even hold them in gear it'll push, push the lever right out of your hand. So today we will show you how to remove that PTO and uh, replace those shafts. Start off with at the rear of the tractor you take the three bolts out of the the seal retainer for the power takeoff output shaft which I have already done and what we'll do is just put the PTO lever uh, out of gear and then just overextend it forward and that'll push the PTO shaft out the back and it should give you the collar with it. Now in this case I have the lift unit off already. That's not necessary to do that uh, if you're just repairing the shaft, uh, repairing the PTO. You don't have to take the lift cover off. You'll be able to work through the PTO hole in the back. And it's probably a good idea to take the uh, lever off the side. And then you can check over that collar. This is the collar that locks the PTO in gear. If I can get slightly, there we are. And it just locks forward to uh, engage with the mating shaft coming from the front. I have this tractor split because we're just taking it apart. It's for parts uh, and so it's a lot more convenient for me to do it this way. Uh, for just removing that power takeoff shaft you can do that without splitting the tractor. There's a tin cover here on the clutch housing on the bottom. You can remove that to get to this cap that I'm going to about to show you in here over the PTO shaft. And so right in directly underneath the input shaft. Let me just move the camera maybe so you can see a little better. There we go. So right in here underneath the input shaft there's a cap in there held in by a lock ring. And it's a pretty big heavy duty lock ring. So uh, I have taken them out before with like uh, screwdrivers and punches and so on pride and so on. It's it's doable but it requires a bit of time and probably some foul language for the most part. Uh. These plugs are what they call a snug fit. They're not pressed in but they're snug basically and it's about half an inch thick so you gotta pull it straight out. If it wobbles a little bit it'll bind and sometimes they can be a real pain in the ass. Sometimes they come out by hand. Okay, and that one so far is coming out by hand. Uh, uh, and it binds. Uh, uh. There. There we have the plug. That opens up so you can see the front of the PTO input sh or uh, P PTO driving shaft, and it is going to be held in there either by a lock ring or a nut, depending. This one is in with a lock ring. washer and now that shaft will push out towards the back of the tractor so there we have our PTO shaft removed from the tractor and on this one Try to get it where you can see. A little bit of an angle like that. They are worn at a bit of an angle. 
Uh, that one's worn at a bit of a taper. That would not be, I would, wouldn't consider that a good replacement shaft. That one's going to go in the scrap because that is what happens to them. They wear at that angle like that and it just pushes the locking collar off and kicks them out of gear. So anyway, so get yourself a good replacement shaft, feed it in through the back, put your washers and lock ring or, or nut back on, the plug goes back in, you feed the other PTO shaft in from the back again with the collar on it, and then the tricky part is getting the PTO lever to engage with the collar again. Um, but that is it, it's a pretty straightforward fix to repair the PTO shaft on these tractors. I hope you've enjoyed this PTO repair video on the 414 series tractors. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, you can leave those in the comment section down below. And as always, have a great day.